The third one, explicit group knowledge. Right. This could be about process models or rules, instructions, documents, anecdotes, whatever. Um, so th there could be very official things like documented rules, and, and the rules could be somewhere. Like I can see here in the room there's a note, in, and there's a note at the door. And the note at the door tells me, please do not disturb. So uh, I now understand if I don't want anybody to knock on the door, I put it on the outside. And so, and, and then we, so apparently in this culture this would work. People would say, okay, I will not knock on the door, right? So, so I learned something from a document, right? And, 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 and but maybe there's a memo, somebody puts something somewhere and I, so, and then there's unofficial things, which could still be artifacts, like in, in certain, like here is things on the floor, like, like somebody set out a path. So I think maybe there was already some kind of an experiment where you had to find out how people could guide somebody else through a path, right? Mm -hmm. I'm observing now um, the, the, the knowledge because it's in a way stick to the floor. So th there's information on the floor here, right? And, and there's information here on the blackboard. So somebody mm -hmm. draw something and, and put things which will have a meaning and it would help if I could read the language, but they can't. So, but it it's, gives me information. So this is about information. Um, and validity is a problem. Is it true or not true? I will later on show you this problem because documents could be false. Maybe on the document on the, on the board there, it, it says that the, the, the building will shut down at 11 p.m. And maybe in fact it shuts down at 10.30. We have a problem then, right? So documents could be wrong. Invalid. So, and you have to find out, is it an intention or, or is it officially still valid or is it overruled? So we have to find out. Um, so, um, no, in practice, the, 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 the previous one should be there. Um, find and study documents and artifacts. So, in the situation, the shop. Outside the shop, if you stand in front of the shop, there's a lot of things to be read, including English and, and, and in, in Chinese, right? And inside, lots of documents. But also, there is a, you, you could already, oh, wrong, sorry. You could already go to Google Info and find about the outside world. Make pictures, transcriptions, and interpret. Okay? I will just continue to the next one. Um, and I learned that my video will stop. So, just let the video run out. Um, the last part is implicit group knowledge. So, this is what we call culture. People, in a way, behave together and understand each other and they cannot even tell you why they do it this way or what's happening because it's common for them, right? So, and and uh, ethnographers uh, label this community of practice. That, so this is a group of people that naturally belongs together and behaves together, right? Um, and, and, and how can we find out for this one? Well, um, it, it requires ethnographic methods, which means you have no a priori conceptual framework. We are not sure whether this is about tasks and goals, for instance. So what we have to do is we hang to hang around and identify a relevant concept. Just be there and look around. So be in the coffee shop and look around. Actually, I did this. I was there twice, and I learned a lot by just hanging around, even not understanding the language, right? Uh, and and and. Write it down in the form of a diary, diary or a journalist type of record. This no formal modeling of ethnographers. Ethnographers look at things and say, "Well, I, I write in my diary what what I experienced today, right?" And and, and so and, and the goal is understanding complex settings where maybe there are multiple activities going on. S several people are doing different things. There are multiple actors, and they might have different goals. And do this in natural groups, so in the shop, not in a shop that is acted out by students, but in a real situation, right? So look at what's going on if a real client enters the shop and, and, and does things. Um, and, and the focus here is on situation and on work practice, right? So uh, we speak of communities of practice, which is the, the natural setting where things happen. And, and knowledge in this case is not such a thing as psychologists say it's in people's brains, but knowledge is the ability to participate meaningfully. If you are a member of the culture, you know how to behave in a meaningful way. Um, I skipped the other ones. Um, the ethnographer is a participant observer. Once I enter the coffee shop, 
I am not invisible, and, and the coffee shop is small enough to make me very visible, right? There can be like five or six client mugs, and then we will burst out of the door. It's a very small shop.